Okay, I think that'll work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of Composing in 2662 Part 4 Rambling Melodies. In our previous streams, we'd explained what the 2662 scales were. We had come up with a simple motif. We had come up with some cadences. And today we focused on kind of free associating, working with the melodies. We made ourselves a little worksheet. We said we wanted to do some fast sequences selected by ear. We wanted to use all seven notes of the full tonality. We wanted to let our memory free play. We wanted to allow pattern recognition, cognitive association, just brainstorm, ramble, free association. Anything goes, anything is fair game. And boy, we did that. So for example, we, the B theme, Oh, that's what's missing. Uh, it's missing here. Let's see, Bumblebee. There was that. This one. This we like this a lot. So we listened to that, and then we thought, well, that's pretty fast. Is there any other Rimsky-Korsakov? And the answer is yes, there is. And we found some in here somewhere. So we call that the Sinbad theme. So we have the B theme, the Sinbad theme. Uh, we also... Um, did some further exploring and we were reflecting on how uh, working with the tonality that in C2 in C2662 there are some traditional 3 4 4 3 minor major chords which ha are very restful um, but ironically in 2662, they're ambivalent. They kind of throw us out of whack to what we're being used to hearing. And we call that the world turned upside down, which reminded us there's a song called that. Goody Bull and her daughter took care the fell out. Both squabbled and wrangled and made a great rout. So we tried to emulate the patterns of that melody, but keeping ourselves in 2662. Then we jumped from our melodies back to the cadences and let's do a little more work on the cadences and the energies and we had two images one was a cat getting ready to pounce like that and then when the cat actually jumps so those were some of our inspirational sources for working with things. We then kind of went back and forth between our melodies and things. We, we did this iteration, you know, do something, reflect on it, then do something, reflect on it, and repeat, and so forth. And uh, we went back to our motif, and we actually labeled it a bit, and then we went to our cadences, and we added a, a melodic line, and then the melodies um, we did lots and lots of stuff on. So let's review what we did today. First of all, in the motif area, we labeled our cadences. It goes like this. So it sounds the same. The difference is we labeled it. We said the first line is a rest, rest, tonic, 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 all the way. The second line is urge to rest because it's got this dominant to tonic. And urge is the classic way in traditional music where you kind of close the book and come back home from where you were. And then we repeated 
the rest rest medicate we call it a medicadence because it has two cadences within it and then we ended with another urge to rest but it was it's a medicadence two because it's a different chord closing it so we felt pleased and we updated the date now in the cadence we did a fair amount of work we we already had identified you know this is a broody energy this is restless energy and so forth and we had identified backbones but this time we went and put a little extra note in there a melodic line that the melodic line still fits it's 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 part of the the upper k uh, the upper chord see up here we have d a flat and g flat but we picked them to amplify that sense this is broody then this was to be restless and this is to be reaching and you can hear by adding that extra melodic line it's giving a little more feel to it than just bang 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 we're putting a little smoothing note in between that still supports the the energy now we have the quantum jump cadences this is idle where we're kind of and we used our we we went back to our uh, big ideas thing and said oh yeah remember the idea of the of this is um assuming that this is selected yeah there it is that we're in one of these orbits around the center and and kind of jumping up jumping down but never quite leaving it so this is the jumping then we have accumulating energy and this was the cat pounce and then we had the actual jump and we felt quite pleased with that one because we had said all along we want really fast sequences and um, that's about the fastest that we got so that is our cadence model enhanced put it up here and that was our motif model just basically more annotated and then we finally came into our melody model and we experimented with quite a few things uh, as we said we have the Sinbad motif and the fun thing about that was we we went from a two four time two time into a three six eight or three time waltzy time then our um and we did also have the b model uh, we had the first version of the b model was here and then we had a second version of the b model over here and all of these are within the tonality of 2662 and then finally we uh, use the upside, the world turned upside down ballad and, and copied out variations on the three parts so we did all that now where do we go from there what a good question um one of the things we made a point of starting to do here was uh identify what kind of tempos we were using but then we kind of really surprised ourselves by going from a two time into a six eight time so we're going to let that simmer a bit we have the option in the ballad we did everything was two time here we've done two and three and if we want to use this this quantum jumping thingy or moving from you know it could be that one of these um let's clear this so we don't you know it could be you know okay we're going to make that's going to be two time and that's going to be three time and 
you know, I don't know, maybe this will be two time again or something, and maybe this will be zero time, whatever that is. We don't know. But it's giving us some ideas for things to change, and we know that the more, when you want something that has the sense of jumping, which is the quantum jump part of our big idea story, the quantum jump up here, there it is, see, you know, uh, we can jump from the minor to major scale. Now we're saying, well, you could jump from a two time to a three time. Woohoo. Uh, and then we also had some fun experimenting with things to have that emerging, growing, reaching feel, which mostly were where the pitches were getting higher overall. Da, 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 like that. So we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. We never take your attention and time for granted. Uh, we feel always as if you are, in a sense, with us or looking over our shoulder. And it gives a sense of aliveness and immediacy to what we're doing. And we appreciate your attention. And we'll see you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>